What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. We got a front row spot. Let's head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right, here we go. First things first, video games. What do we got? Lots of Xbox One games here. All sports titles, pretty much. Some PS4 sports titles. NHL 20 for $4. I actually don't have this game. I might get it for myself. Uh, Fallout 76 I don't have, but this would be 50% off. It's senior day today, and I'm not a senior. Wow, look at all these PS3 games. Holy moly. Oh, what is this? Farming Simulator? That actually might hold some value at $3. Look at all these games. What is going on today? Lots of cool things. Game Party. Tiger Woods 11. Barbie Horse Adventures. Um... I'm not seeing anything like super valuable. Uh, actually, Zumba 2 might be at $4. I'm not really sure. I just throw things in my cart and I look them up a little bit later when I have time. Whiskey and snowboard used to be worth money. Don't think it's worth much anymore, but we'll have to wait and see. There's another Zumba 2. I'll scan that one. So what I'm going to do is just go through these and anything I find, guys, I'll sh let you know. Let's do it. All right, so we're going through all the media here, and I was wrong, guys. Uh, green is 25% off, red, blue, and white are 50% off, but that's for everybody, not just seniors today. So I'm actually grabbing a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I'm just going to keep going through all the media, then we'll go check out the toys. Already went through some video games there. There is, they just brought out all these CDs, so I'll go through those. Hopefully, we get some winners. I was coming through the media here and I saw this, Naruto. And I thought, hey, that's not bad. Eight bucks, so it's four dollars, half price. Uh, it has the manual, I don't know. I might just throw it in the car. It's a little dirty, but that could be cleaned right off. It's kind of cool, four bucks. All right, there was another media shelf on the other side, right here. I went through it all, you could see the cart. We got lots of good stuff, lots of DVDs that are all worth it. The video games are pretty much all worth it besides a couple for myself. And yeah, cart is looking pretty good. Now we still have to go check the rest of the store. There is a lot to go look through. All right, so here we are by the toy section. Of all the baggies, the place is completely crowded, completely packed today. There is so many toys to go through. I think it's because of the sale it brought everyone in. So I'm gonna start digging and I'll let you guys know if I find anything. All right guys, so I'm going through all of the toys over here and I found this game right here, Dixit. And it's open and used, but it's only $1.99. I'm gonna have to count pieces in it. But let me show you guys what it's selling for in used condition on Amazon right now. Here is the listing, very good rank. Collectible selling for 35 bucks, so I'll make 22 after fees if all of the pieces are inside. Still going through the toys. We did actually find another thing right here, this number bot from Play School. It's 25% off of eight, so it's about six bucks. And uh, not, not bad, I'll make about six bucks on it, so I'll, you know, it's double up. And then guys, we found the best find imaginable, Justin Bieber backstage pass. Just kidding, take a look at that. Pokemon gotta catch them all memory game. Holy cow, this is just so cool. Let's uh, let's take a look at this thing right here. I don't know, I like it. Couldn't find it on Amazon, it's probably on eBay. But they only want 99 cents. This might be a keeper, so I'm not even gonna bother looking it up. I'm just gonna take it for a dollar, why not? We have more Nintendo goodness here. Monopoly Nintendo, look at that. That is really cool. And uh, no idea if it's complete, but it's got all those cool metal pieces right there. What do they want? $1.99. That's not bad. That's gonna go right there. Not even gonna bother looking it up. Pretty cool. Bet you it's going for some good money, even in used condition. So there's still so much to look through. Um, we'll go next aisle over. All right, they have some video game stuff here. We have a GameCube with a controller for $60. No game, very sticky. <laughs> I can't get it to close, there we go. We'll leave that behind, it doesn't look like it has its cables. And then we have a Wii right here for $25. It's plugged in and working. 
And the only issue is there is a game inside. My Sims, sweet. But when you put it in, move my cart. Put it in, it makes some crazy no Oh, did I put it in backwards, is that why? I think so. There we go. <laughs> That's just how it came out. So let's see if it reads it. If it reads it, $25 is not a bad deal. It's the model that plays uh, GameCube stuff, so that's good. It's not reading the disc. It's not popping up, so that's not good. Uh, it also doesn't come, oh, there we go. It just read the disc, so that's good. Comes with all the cords, the sensor bar, but no controller. I think I have extra controllers, but I have so many Wii's at the house. They can be leave it behind. It's not a bad price, so if somebody gets it, they get a really good deal, but I'm gonna leave it. I sold one of these Sony boom boxes a long time ago for over $100. It was a long time ago. I don't know what's going for now. The push to open isn't working, so there's that. Um, and it doesn't look like it has a power cord, but these things used to be worth great money. We have another Sony item right here. Weather stations don't do as well, especially at $20. It's a little high, um, but those used to do really well. I'll pop it up on the screen if they still do so you guys can see. Here's something I just noticed, an Xbox One S, or just Xbox One Connect Sensor, $20, but it's half off at 10. So, we will snag that at 10 bucks. So I just left the electronics section, came over to the little sporting goods, and I noticed something that I used to have as a kid. This NFL Street Ball at $1.99 half off for one buck. I think these sell for about $25 or so over on eBay. It has a little bit of wear, but once you pump it up, it seems to be in pretty good shape. The color is really nice, so I'm definitely snagging this for a dollar. I also noticed something else kind of interesting back here. What's this? Just National Football League NFL ball. That's really cool, too. Uh, it's made by Hutch. No idea. It's cool, though. I don't think it's going to be worth anything, though, so we'll probably leave that one behind. All right, so the cart is looking pretty good. We got toys, games, electronics, video games, movies. But uh, we got to look around a little bit more and then head out of here because not really find anything. I've been here for a while after I found all this stuff and not seeing that much new stuff come out. So I think it's time to possibly go to another store and make this a two fur video. So let's go to another thrift store. So we just left the inside of the thrift store. I loaded up the back of the car, take a look. Uh, I forgot bags again. I, I seem to do that every single time, so it's all gonna sit there. And before we go to the next store, let's check out Big Lots, because sometimes they have some DVDs and toys that sell well on Amazon. I'm kind of curious to see if we can find any today. And then there's a game exchange over there I think we're gonna go to as well, see if we can find any video games. Let's go. So we're inside and I found what I believe to be their media section. It's kind of small and these were the DVDs. There was nothing good here. They're all Westerns for some reason. Every single one. Not sure why. Uh, and then I found some records. I actually sell records decently on Amazon, especially brand new ones like this. Um, the closest one to being worth anything was this Reba. Sells for about $35. They want $25 here. But after fees, there's no money to be made. I'm going to see if I could find another media section somewhere in this big lots. But I'm not going to spend too much time in here. So let's hope we find it soon. All right, I found the actual media section, and it appears like a lot of them are on clearance. You can see right here, the Zoolander originally five, now it's only $1.25. These CDs right here, they're all the same. They are $2.50 each, I scanned them in, they sell really well for $10.95. It only leaves me with about $2 profit, so that's two, four, six bucks. I might grab them, just because they'll sell so fast. I'm not sure though, after tax, it's actually a little less than two bucks each, so. Don't think I'm gonna mess with those. Let's check this one together right here. This uh, county or country Vern Gosden, no idea. Okay, so this one was actually really good. Uh, selling for $31.79, make $22.15 after fees. Uh, can grab one of them. This one is a little damaged. Uh, it's just a tiny little rip in the plastic but you don't really want to mess with, uh, there's a big rip in the plastic right there. So definitely don't want to mess with that. We'll leave that behind. 
Uh, they even have PS4 games here. This one's not worth much, but maybe we'll find more video games. So what I'm gonna do is just scan through a lot of this stuff. You can see $3, they have it on sale for a buck fifty, five dollars down to two fifty, three dollars down to seventy-five cents. Holy moly. So I'm just gonna scan some things and we'll see how big of a pile I could get. So I'm going through a lot of the DVDs and Blu-rays and just as a friendly reminder, not all of them are actually brand new. Even if they're sealed like this, you want to be looking for DVDs that still have the original seal with the name and everything up top. Sometimes they have one on the bottom as well. It's a security seal. These don't. But perfect example, this Resident Evil right here says previously viewed right on it. Uh, so you could tell I mean it's hard to tell that it's resealed but it is and so some might not say previously viewed and you gotta take you know the gamble if you want to I'd recommend not doing that <laughs> but you know this still has the bonus digital code which means this is still definitely brand new right here not really worth much but so I gotta be a lot more picky and another big pain in the butt here they put stickers over all the barcodes. So I can peel them back and scan, but that's a pain to do for every single one. So I'm only doing it to a select few that I think might be worth it. I do have a small stack right there. So not bad. I found a bunch of Xbox games. What? Oh, and PlayStation 3. Okay, we got Titan Quest, uh, Victor Vran, Victor, Apex Legends, Geometry Wars, and Dragon Age. It's interesting. And we have a... Uh, Moonwalkers with slipcover. That's kind of cool too. So I'm going to keep going through some of this stuff and hope we find a few more things. Oh, Dr. Katz. I remember that show. Look at that. It's only 72 cents. I mean, I'm just going to grab this. It might be worth money, but get it for myself for 72 cents. Why not? And uh, there's some cool movies in here. Cool looking movies like this Bad Blood for a buck fifty. So I'll show you how I scan things like this. I'll just pull up my Amazon seller app. Now you could do this with the eBay app as well. I'll pull up my little barcode scanner and I'll hit up this top barcode since it's covered. And let's see how much it's worth. Not a lot. <laughs> it has a bad rank as well. It only has two stars, so it's probably a terrible movie. Selling for $6.99, you only make a buck 07 after fees. So I was gonna blow off going to another Goodwill because I had to switch cars. I'm in the Kia now, I had to go home. So we are at Goodwill and we're gonna go inside and see if we can find anything here. We did decently at the red, white, and blue. So hopefully we do good at this one, let's go. All right, so we're inside the Goodwill and I haven't really found anything. I thought this was kind of cool. This Tex Sunset Ranch for a dollar. And uh, it's just a cool old comic, not really sure. Don't see any real markings on it. I tried to look it up on eBay and for some reason, all the listings were coming from Italy. It's like, what is up with that? And then I took a look. It's uh, in Italian. <laughs> and not, not, probably not worth it to sell here, so I'm gonna leave it. But I thought that was kind of neat. Just looking at some of the media, not really seeing much. What do we have here? No. Not really seeing much over here. I might go through the books, which I don't normally do. Uh, there's a cool toboggan right there. But uh, I always look for lefty clubs for one of my friends. He needs lefty clubs. And uh, they're hard to find, actually, for, you know, one to three dollars. So I'll keep an eye out for those, see if I see anything here. See if I see anything that's even worth it to flip. But usually not. <laughs> it's usually a lot of these older, just... Custom three, yeah, nothing nothing really great here. So let's take a look at some of the books. All right, so I personally do not like scanning books. I almost never do it. Um, but what I'm gonna try and do is scan one, two, three. I'm gonna scan these three shelves and see if I pull anything out of it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is why I usually do not scan books. Nothing in that row, nothing in this row. We're already going through this row and nothing so far. And just looking at what's here, it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything. Maybe this publication manual, I don't know. I'll scan it real quick, but I highly doubt it. This is why I don't do books. I know some people like it. Some people find it relaxing. I find it annoying. Here is one, I'm restricted actually, kind of funny. Uh, used to be $10 and the fees they take out with books now is crazy. $8.70 on a $10 sale. Make a dollar 30 on this and they want a dollar so you'd make 30 cents. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm not seeing anything here. We're going to leave that section and if I see anything interesting with the naked eye, I'll scan it. 
but I don't think I'm going to. I've only found books here a couple times. It's kind of rare. So we're just gonna keep looking around the store and hopefully we find at least one or two things. So I found one book that looked interesting and different, The History of Bimini, Volume 1 by Ashley Saunders. Uh, it's a history of somewhere in the Bahamas, I believe. And here it is on Amazon, used only one person selling it for $53.99, collectible someday at $288, which is definitely overpriced. Uh, there's only one review, the rank is good, but that probably means it just sold once recently and it doesn't sell very often. A good way to see if it sells decently is to switch on over to eBay and scan it in there. So we're gonna scan up the UPC. Oh, there was no UPC, so I'm gonna have to type it in and we'll see if it's selling on eBay. So here it is, I typed it in on eBay and there's one listing for $88. Let's see if there's any solds. And there is one for 28 bucks. And it sold, <laughs> uh, what, three months ago now? So it doesn't sell very often. It's only $2. I think it's worth the gamble. I could just throw it on the shelf, list it on Amazon for that 50-ish dollar range and wait a few months. All right, guys, so I appear to be striking out at this Goodwill, but I did find three more things all for myself. Dead Snow, which I haven't seen in so long and uh, at $1, and I picked it up, haven't seen it. Never seen this before, Outpost Black Sun. This is also a dollar. Uh, kind of looks similar in vain to Dead Snow. And then this was only a dollar for six movies. They all look terrible. So odds are I'll like them. <laughs> I like pretty bad movies, so cool. And then hopefully we make, you know, 30 bucks on that when all is said and done. That would be awesome. But I'm just not seeing, I mean, the, the shelves are pretty empty here right now. Oh, actually, there's some Wilton cake pans. We've got Big Bird, a Smurf, Tweety, and Bugs Bunny. I'll look these up. I used to sell these all the time. The value came down on a lot of them. So maybe these are good, maybe they're bad. I'm gonna look them up right now and we'll find out. Well, out of all the pans, we did get one of them, so that's good. The Smurf pan right here is selling for about $35, and I'm only paying three. So, hey, we actually did find two things to flip. Sometimes you just have to take multiple laps because I didn't even see those pans the first time I walked around here. I just must have glanced right over them. And uh, I'll take one more look down the electronics and toy aisle, which is still not looking too great. It's looking a little bare. Here is a... Uh, some kid riding BMX in 2002. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. There's just not much here right now today. But that's okay. I still found some good stuff at the first stop. And even at Big Lots, I found some good stuff. So I think we're going to call this store quits. Let's head out.